We're going to show what happens after those peels are ground, first in a standard disposer and then in an Evolution Excel model from Insincorator with Multigrind Plus technology. We've collected in a fine sieve the discharge that normally goes from the disposer into your plumbing. This is the potato peel discharge from a standard disposer. And here's the result after the same amount of peels is ground in the Evolution Excel. Here's what happens to celery when it's put through a standard disposer. The long celery fibers slide through the grind ring uncut and ultimately they can clog the plumbing. And here's Excel. With its three stages of grind, Excel literally cuts stringy foods a third time to avoid clogs. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to remove a typical garbage disposal and install a Waste King 3 bolt mount disposal. The first step is prep. Waste King garbage disposals operate on 110 to 120 volt, 60 hertz, which is standard in most homes. If you have any questions, check with a qualified electrician. Before getting started, unplug your old garbage disposal and dishwasher if you have one. If your disposal is hardwired, turn off the power at the electrical panel and disconnect any hardwired connections. Make sure you have the right tools for the job. You'll need a hammer, flathead screwdriver, dowel or steel punch, plumber's putty, liquid soap, and safety glasses. If you have a dishwasher and the dishwasher outlet hose is not 7 eighths of an inch in diameter, you'll need to buy a dishwasher connector kit. Step 2. Remove your old garbage disposal. Disconnect the drain line and any other connections. If you have a dishwasher, remove the dishwasher drain hose. Most garbage disposals are removed by turning the lower mounting ring to your right. Be sure to hold on to the disposal as you turn so it doesn't fall. You can also insert a screwdriver into a tab to help turn the mounting ring. Remove the mounting assembly by loosening the mounting screws and popping off the snap ring. Remove the sink flange and your old garbage disposal is gone. Now you can install your Waste King 3 bolt mount disposal. Step 3. Install the new mounting assembly. You'll need to remove the mounting assembly from the garbage disposal first. Start by removing the drain stopper. 
Loosen the mounting clamp screw. Pull up on the sink flange and lower mounting ring and slowly pry them loose from the cushion mount ring. Turn the upper and lower mounting rings so the gaps align with the notches on the sink flange and remove. The rubber gasket can be used in place of plumber's putty with stainless steel sinks. Plumber's putty or sealant should be used with any other sink. Clean the area around the drain opening. Position the sink flange with the rubber gasket in the center of the drain. Notice the This Side Up label on the lower mounting ring. Make sure it's oriented in the right way before inserting the mounting bolts. Insert the three mounting bolts into the lower mounting ring about a quarter inch. It's easier if you begin with the pointed end of each bolt toward the sink bottom and align each one with the holes in the upper mounting ring. Slide the upper and lower mounting rings onto the sink flange, then turn the lower mounting ring past the notches to hold it in place. Tighten the mounting screws, but do not over-tighten. Step 4. Attach the discharge elbow. If you have a dishwasher, use a wooden dowel or steel punch to remove the plug in the dishwasher inlet. Do not use a screwdriver or any other sharp instrument. Make sure the rubber gasket is on the discharge elbow. Slide the metal bracket over the elbow and insert it into the discharge outlet. Tighten the two screws evenly. Step 5. Connect the garbage disposal to the mounting assembly. Lubricate the inside top lip of the cushion mount ring with liquid soap. Line up the discharge elbow with the piping under the sink and guide the disposal up and engage the upper groove of the cushion mount ring with the bottom of the sink flange. Use a slight rocking motion to make sure it's sealed all the way around. If you need to turn the disposal, make sure the sink flange does not turn or it may affect its seal. While still supporting the disposal, fully tighten the screw clamp around the cushion mount ring. The disposal will now hang on its own. Now you can connect the discharge elbow to the drain piping. If there's a dishwasher, connect the dishwasher drain hose with a clamp. A 7 8 inch inside diameter hose will fit directly to the garbage disposal. If the hose size is different, use a dishwasher connector kit. Make sure all connections are secure, then run water to check for leaks. Plug in the power cord, turn the power back on, and you're done.